This is what we're talking about today. It's the Rail King uh, by MTH Electric Trains uh, Bump and Go Trolley, Pittsburgh Railways Company. And here's the uh, info on that as far as the number and what I paid, which is quite a bit. But in any case, we're getting our holiday layout ready this year and we decided we'd put a bump and go trolley going to up and down our little main street. Uh, we don't have a big area. If you see my other videos, you see we do like a five by eight on utility tables and we're gonna do the same thing this year, uh, maybe later and maybe next year, start doing some actual real bench work. So I'll show you how this thing works. Now you can see it doesn't really light up that well inside because I have to use really low voltage, otherwise this thing just hammers these uh, Lionel uh, bumpers that are in on the end here. Now, I'll turn out this light here and you can see they, those do actually light up. They're the old fashioned ones. They attach the track to get the electric for that uh, bulb on there. But I think it's kind of neat. We're gonna have a street scene here, here and. Even though this is just a short run, I kind of like the idea of the trolley. And uh, so when I got this, I just had the uh, sets with the remotes. So I didn't have a proper transformer, which is what you really need for this. Um, because you didn't have to vary the uh, voltage to slow the darn thing down. Otherwise it just slams into those bumpers. I went to my local store and I found this little used transformer and it was still a little bit too fast. Uh, even though the, the price was right, you see I paid $6 for this, but it was a little fast. So I'm not much of an electrician or I know much about electronics, but I did figure out that if you put a little resistor in there, it really gives you a little more fine tuning on the low voltage. And that's what I did. This is the uh, value that I put in. Like I say, I don't really know what I'm doing. It says 7.5 ohm. And I have a lot of these resistors in different values. Um, and I used to try to work on some old radios and things like that. But I just connected it here to the uh, positive post. If any of you have a comment about how I should actually have this wired up, I don't see this as being any kind of a dangerous thing. And I just have it wired here temporarily until I start to get the layout set up. But you know, the light changes when it hits the bumper to the other direction. It's kind of neat. So with this layout, I can actually have two trains running at the same time and my little trolley here. which I think will add a lot to it when I get it all set up. And of course, when I had it going faster, let me just take this off here. It has this little uh, thing that, uh, the spark arm, I guess they call this. And it has it actually has a little wheel. You can actually put that on, on a little bit of thread, I guess, going back and forth to make it look more realistic. But I don't think I'm going to do that because it kind of like swings all over the place. I'm just going to put it back in its holder and, and leave it down like that. So that's what I'm working on today. And it's the real key. Let me show the end of the box here. So if you're interested in this, you can try to find one. Hopefully you can get a better price than what I did. Fun in action. Well, it's pretty fun. Okay, there'll be more to come. I'm going to be doing some reviews of some uh, Woodland Scenics structures that I purchased. So stay tuned for that. All right. Thanks a lot. Subscribe. 
subscribe, like, comment, 